Hi everyone I hope you all are doing well We know that Charles Darwin got a golden chance to visit various places in the world through HMS Beagle Now look at this South American subcontinent map We can see Galapagos Island on the west side of this South American subcontinent Now when Charles Darwin visited this Galapagos Island for the first time he is surprised to see different types of finches and they were sharing some similarity with mainland finches moreover he observed that these galapagos island finches are different from each other with respect to their size and beak so charles darwin concluded that these finches must have originated from mainland finches after their migration to galapagos island they must have adapted and diversified into different finches with respect to their size and beak so students here we are talking about two words one is adaptation and second is diversification so today we'll talk about the concept of adaptive radiation and this topic has great importance in your neat examination so watch the video till the end students to understand concept of adaptive radiation let us take the example of same darwin finches now as said earlier the south american finches somehow re like reached galapagos island over 600 million years ago as initial population was less there was no competition at all as population of finches started increasing intraspecific struggle for food and mate started now in order to avoid the competition the finches simply moved to the new ecological habitats where there was no competition some of them shifted to the trees whereas some other shifted to unoccupied land now these finches started adapting to the new food habits such as fruits insects cactus and different types of seeds over a period of time due to adaptations in different ecological conditions like uh, there were changes in genetic material and gene pool this led to the formation of many species of finches from common ancestor so in the picture we can see various types of finches some of them are found on the ground some of them are there on the trees and they are adapted to different food habits which we can see in the diagram so if you see carefully on the right side these are the finches which are there on the ground and on the left side these are the finches which are present on the trees and these have developed different food habits for example this uh, tree finch which has developed fruit eating habit now these are insect eating finches this is the one who is eating cactus now these are set of finches who have developed the beak according to their food habit that is seed eating habit so from common ancestor these are the different types of species formed so this is a perfect example of adaptive radiation students we can define adaptive radiation as formation of more than one species from common ancestors due to several evolutionary factors now here the tree dwelling finches include the fruit eating finches these are couple of uh, say insect eating finches this is a wobbler finch now all these are the finches who are there on the right side are present on the ground and they have developed seed eating say beaks so from common ancestor these are different species of finches form so this is a perfect example of adaptive radiation students we can see adaptive radiation in case of marsupial mammals of australia now marsupial mammals are group of say special animals who give birth to very immature young ones and these young ones are kept holding in marsupial pouch until they are fully ready 
Now please remember one thing these marsupial mammals are evolved before placental mammal one more thing is all these marsupial mammals are evolved from the common ancestor by adaptive radiation now there are these examples of marsupial mammals are like first is say kangaroo second is say tree kangaroo then we have koala now we can define this adaptive radiation as again formation of more than one type of species from common ancestor due to several evolutionary factors so students i hope you are clear with the concept of adaptive radiation as far as marsupial mammals are concerned now students this is very interesting fact about evolution now as said earlier these marsupial mammals are believed to have evolved before placental mammals one more thing is that australian continent separated from other continents before marsupial mammals evolved now the chart shows placental mammals of the north america on the left side whereas the right side of the chart shows marsupial mammals which are found in australian continent now these two groups of mammals evolved on the same line even though they were present on different geographical area but their environmental conditions were same development of similar morphological features by different animal groups present in different geographical area due to similar environmental condition is called as parallel adaptive radiation for example we can see the spiny ant eater on the left side whereas we have similar type of ant eater on the australian continent that is numbat now on the left side, students i hope you are clear with the concept of adaptive radiation which are shown by darwin's finches marsupial mammals and placental mammals even the parallel adaptive radiation can be seen when we compare marsupial mammals with placental mammals so i hope you are clear with the concept of all these things so at the end i request you all to like my channel share it and subscribe it stay home stay safe bye for now thank you